Due to the weekend rainfall, clear skies seem unlikely in the area. A thick fog is expected to set in tonight and remain until tomorrow morning, with heaviest concentration in the Inaba area. Anyone planning to go out tonight should take care. Now for our hourly weather breakdown. More fog, huh? There's been a lot of that lately. Hopefully it's not a sign of more trouble. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. What did I say about changing the channel without asking? Have a great day, even during Golden Week, at your local Juness. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day's great at your Juness. Every day's great at your Juness. Dad, they're going to be open during Golden Week. <laughs> I heard. Do you want to go somewhere during the long holiday? Uh, we can go somewhere? How about it? Got any plans yet? And then let's all go somewhere together! Junus, 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 Junus! <laughs> you sure you want to go to Juness? We can go there anytime. Come on, girl. Time for bed. It's late. All right. Every day's great at your Juness. Morning. Yeah, I'll be coming to school again, so that'll be nice. I caused everyone some real trouble. I'm sorry. No, sorry isn't quite right. What I mean to say is thank you. My mother's back to work already. The maids are being really supportive, and I think things are going even smoother than before. I wonder if I was trying too hard. I may have been too caught up in the idea that I had to do everything myself. Ever since the incident, I feel like I can think about these things more calmly. But it's still kind of embarrassing. You guys saw everything, even the things I didn't want to admit.
Really? Yukiko! Oh, it's Chie. Well, I'll talk to you later. Sorry to keep you waiting. The soap was yours, right, Chie? Thanks! Oh, that smells so good! These instant noodles are just the thing to help me through club. How much longer do I have to wait on this? It still needs a few minutes. So why are we here? Oh yeah, we were gonna ask Yukiko what happened. Yukiko-san, I hate to bring up stuff you'd rather not think about, but I need to ask you again. Did you recall anything about when you got kidnapped? No. I thought I might remember something if I let it sit for a while, but as time passes, it only gets hazier. I think... the doorbell rang at the entrance, and someone called for me. But when I woke up after that, I was already in the castle. I'm sorry. No need to apologize. But does this mean her visitor is the culprit? I don't know. If it's true, then that's one daring criminal. What kind of killer would ring the doorbell? The police are probably looking for witnesses, but I don't think we can expect much from them. <laughs> As if the culprit wore bright yellow clothes at the scene of the crime. wonder why whoever it is would do stuff like this. We won't know until we confront them ourselves. But we can be sure of one thing. It's no coincidence that people keep ending up in that place. Someone on our side is definitely kidnapping them and throwing them into the TV. It's murder, all right. Oh yeah, we never told you. This guy and me are gonna catch the culprit ourselves. The police are out of their league on this case, but we got personas. Um... I'm helping out, too! I can't believe someone would throw people into a place like that! I'm gonna sock whoever's doing this! Chie... Let me help, too. I want to know why this is happening. Especially if someone hates me so much they want to kill me. I don't want to run away from myself anymore. All right. Then let's all work together and catch this asshole. Agreed. What 
how are we going to find them? We don't have a single lead yet. I'm the third one to be targeted so far, but I have a feeling this isn't the end of it. If we had an idea of who might be targeted next, wouldn't we have an advantage over the killer? So we'll outsmart them, huh? Yeah, that might work. Okay, so let's see if we can figure out what ties the victims together. First, there was that announcer, Mayumi Yamano. Second, was Saki Konishi, senpai. Third, was Yukiko Amagi. What do they all have in common? Bingo. How dare he target females! Now that's unforgivable. The culprit's gotta be some kind of pervert. Also, what about this? The second and third victims had some sort of connection to the first one. Hey, that's right! Yukiko and Saki-senpai both had connections to that announcer! That's true. Then, does that mean females connected in some way to Miss Yamano's case are being targeted? I think that's a safe assumption for now. There's another angle we can take, too. If another person disappears... You think they'd be on that Midnight Channel? That happened right before Yukiko was kidnapped, too! Yeah. It's hard to tell who at first, but what's important is... It's happened before the victims disappeared. Kinda like a... ransom note. We still don't know why that happens, but we'll have to rely on it for now. The next time it rains... By the way, aren't those done by now? Whoa, that's right! Chow time! Hey, could I try just a little bit of that? Just one tiny bite? Hands off the soba, pal! Go get your own if you want some! Okay... Just one bite, got it? Do you want to try some? It's so good! The aroma, the flavor, and the texture all combined. This is perfect! I hope you guys understand what this means! Oh, wait, 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 stop! I'm sorry! I'll buy you steak! It'll be on me! You hear me? The very best! Steak? My tofu. Come on, Yukiko! There's steak in it for us now! We can eat instant noodles anytime we want, right? As long as it isn't too fatty. Okay, we've reached the verdict. You are hereby sentenced to buying a steak. What wouldn't be too fatty? Filet? Ooh, filet sounds nice and expensive. Filet, 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 filet mignon. Hey, you've got a pony up too. You're just as much to blame. Man, talk about great timing. We just started serving grilled steak today. We're doing our part to spread this town's specialty dish. Plus, we've already got an excellent grill. That's just a yakisoba griddle. Oh, well. Steak is steak. It's far from a filet steak, though. Yukiko, are you okay with this? It's not too heavy for you? I'll eat it. I'm still mad. So back on topic. 
I wonder what kind of person the culprit is. If you focus just on the announcer's case, it seems like a revenge thing. Maybe it was her lover's wife. But Masuzu Hiragi had a solid alibi, didn't she? And it seemed like she was already separated from her husband. Really? You know an awful lot about this. Okay, what about the second case? Saki-senpai. She found the announcer's body. Assuming the same person killed them both, then why target senpai? Yeah, I think so too. Maybe she found a clue or something about the culprit. But the killer just threw the announcer into a TV, right? I don't think he would have left evidence the police, much less a high school student, would catch. Yeah, exactly. Man, I thought the countryside would be a snooze. But it's proving to be a lot more exciting than I thought. Oh, they updated the menu. Huh? Isn't he that detective? Hey, you were at Dojima-san's. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, wait. Hey, this is great timing after all. Dojima-san said that he'll be leaving work on schedule tonight. Could you pass that on to Nanako-chan? Yo, I'm Adachi, Dojima-san's gopher. Uh, I mean, his partner. Are you this busy every day? Huh? Oh, well... The public seems to be getting a charge out of these cases, but we can't leave it at that. Sorry to butt in, but could it be that the killer targeted Saki-senpai in order to silence her? Um, you sure get to the heart of the matter. Yikes! <laughs> of course, we're also thinking along those lines. She was killed right after the announcer's body was found. If the killer was trying to silence her, there might have been something at the scene only she would have understood. Which would mean that the culprit may be someone close to Miss Konishi. Nothing like that points to Misuzu Hiragi, so... Oh, I might have stumbled across something here. Wait, are you listening to all that? Crap, me and my big mouth. Uh, don't tell anyone I said any of that, or Dojima-san will flay me alive. <clears throat> Relax, kids. The police are on the job. Uh, see ya! You were right, Yosuke. The police are totally useless. Ah! My steak's getting cold! Could you shut up about the steak for five seconds? really is inside the TV. It's Teddy. Then it wasn't a dream. Are you feeling better, Yuki-chan? I did what you said. I've been a good bear. Oh, I see. Good boy. <laughs> oh, well, this bear's part of the reason we want to find the culprit. I'm one of the group now, too. Let's work together, okay? Yep. I was thinking the same thing. That's why I got these ready for you, Yuki-chan. Oh, so these are what everyone's wearing. Thank you, Teddy. You're right. It's just as if the fog doesn't exist. Hey, tell me something. How come you have so many pairs of glasses? Excellent question. Guess what? I'm the one who makes them. I've lived here for a long time, so I came up with some ways to be comfortable here. I see. But don't you need a pair? Ooh, good point. Another great question. Listen to this. My eyes themselves are lenses. You didn't know? Of course not. <laughs> Why are you being so mean? You act like you're not interested. I'm a really dexterous bear. See how smoothly my fingers move? What am I even looking at? Ow! Hmm? You dropped something. Oh, that's a pair I kinda screwed up on. 
<laughs> y Yukiko? <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> awesome! Do you like that one, Yuki-chan? I want to wear this one. It's even got a nose guard. Oh, no you don't! How very unfortunate. That pair doesn't have the right lenses in. Guess I should have made an actual pair. Aw, too bad. Here, Chie, your turn. <sighs> Man. All right, fine. to this Yukiko-san hello there goes one of Yukiko's laughing fits I never thought she'd do it when someone besides me was around these stupid glasses are useless for investigating I mean what the hell's this nose for anyway nice work huh that's what happens when you guys leave me here alone and I get bored well I'm glad that she's in high spirits again I guess. <laughs> oh, Chie, the look on your face. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> I can't stop. <laughs> oh, oh, my stomach. <laughs> The fourth and the fifth. I think I might be able to get the fourth and the fifth off. Really? Really? What, you don't believe me? It's always cancelled. <laughs> Not every year. I know you wanted to go to Jeunesse, but I wouldn't mind going a little further out of the neighborhood. Really? <laughs> Can we go on a trip? Uh, well, it might be okay to go on a trip once in a while. I'm sure it'll be crowded everywhere, though. Yay! <laughs> We're going on a trip! Hmm. All right, all right. Then we need to think of some place to go. How about you? You want to come along with us? You should come. <laughs> Looks like Nanako wants us all to go. Well, if you don't have any plans, why not come along? Come on. Do it for Nanako. Let's bring box lunches. Hmm? Yeah, good idea. We're always eating side dishes for dinner. But uh, I can't cook, and Nanako's not good enough yet to make them by herself. Hmm... Well, it'll work out. That's what we got this guy for, huh, Nanako? Yay! Box lunches!
Inaba Credit Union ATM to the north of town was destroyed today by an earth mover, and all cash inside was stolen. The vehicle, which was abandoned at the scene, had been reported stolen by a local contractor. Since the culprit was able to act quickly before the security guards arrived on the scene, the police have... Ugh, that's late. Hello, Dad? Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. He said to give you the phone. He can't take those days off. I'm gonna be late tonight. Make sure you lock up before you go to sleep. And about that time off on the 4th and the 5th, one of the younger guys got sick. And, well, that case he's handling, we can't just let it sit. Looks like I'm the only one who can take over for him. I'm sorry to spring this on you all of a sudden. Um, how's Nanako? 
still holding up. Would you mind comforting her for me? Thanks. All right then. See ya. Oh cool, you're home. Hey, if you're free today, wanna go somewhere? Yukiko's coming too. How about you, Nanako-chan? Wanna come? Um... Huh? I... I can come? Of course you can! Why'd you bring poor Nanako-chan to a place like this on Golden Week? Where else is there to go? I love Juness. Nanako-chan! But we were supposed to go on a real trip somewhere. We were going to make boxed lunches. Wow! You can make boxed lunches, Nanako-chan? Oh, so you're the family cook? Pretty impressive! Big bro. Big bro. Whoa, you can cook? Well, you do seem to be great with your hands. Uh, uh, never mind. I'm a pretty good cook too, you know. Probably. If you'd asked, I would've whipped up some boxed lunches. Easy as pie. Yeah. Uh, let me think about no. What makes you think I can't cook? Let's have a cook-off and see for ourselves. My, my, doth the lady protest too much? And hey, I never said I cooked. But I have this weird feeling like I'd win anyway. <laughs> I can understand that. What the? Yukiko! Here, Nanako-chan can be our judge. I bet we'll make something that ranks up there with your mom's cooking, Nanako-chan. I don't have a mom. She died in an accident. Hey, Yosuke! I see. Um... Sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. Even if I don't have a mom, I have dad with me. And now I have a brother, too. And I'm having a lot of fun today. I love Juness. Yeah? That's good. <laughs> We'll play with you anytime you want, Nanako-chan. Yeah, we should hang out more often. Come on, Nanako-chan. Let's go get a soda. Okay. She's a strong girl. Yeah, she makes me feel like I'm the little kid here. That's it. 
I'm gonna go get something for Nanako-chan, too! Do you want something, too? Yaki? Hey, 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 hey!
You think so too?
prime suspect in yesterday's ATM robbery in northern Inaba was arrested earlier today. The alleged thief is Pomena Sushin, a 26-year-old former employee of the company which reported the stolen vehicle. According to the police investigation, Pomena Sushin was... I'm home. Ugh. How many days is he gonna call in sick? These rookies lately sure are... Welcome back! Nanako, I'm sorry I broke my promise again. Oh, um, my big bro and his friends played with me instead. I see. Thanks. Oh, that's a Juness bag. <laughs> What's in it? <laughs> Good eye. Well, today is Children's Day. So I brought you a present. T-shirt! <laughs> it took me a while to decide what to get you. You like it? <laughs> wow! There's a picture on the front! <laughs> That's so funny! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I got you one, too. Not that you're still a child or anything, but fair is fair. Don't mention it. I thought you might need one soon. Well then, let's eat. Okay. Yo! Damn it, I just fixed this thing. It's making squeaking sounds again. Huh? Yeah. Hey, by the way, I'm sorry about the other day. You know, about what I said to Nanako-chan. After hanging out with Nanako-chan, I feel even stronger that we have to solve this case. Yeah. You know, Chie and Yukiko seem different lately. They're a lot closer. Oh, yeah, I was just curious, but are you... I, never mind. You know, if we keep chatting, we're gonna be late. Oh, man, school's such a chore. And now my bike's messed up, too. The roads are much wider here than in the city, so I keep speeding. I guess that did it. <sighs> oh, well. Until I get my motorcycle license, I'll just have to walk.
do the holidays have to end so fast? At least they were peaceful. I listened in on the housewives gossiping at Juness, but it doesn't seem like anything happened. And I haven't heard anything about someone disappearing suddenly either. You think Yukiko could have been the last of the victims? Hmm. I don't know. But we shouldn't relax as long as the culprit remains at large. I wonder. Will someone show up on TV again if it rains? If we only knew a little more about who the killer might be. Eh. It's no good fretting over it now. If someone does show up on the Midnight Channel, then we'll deal with it. It's supposed to start raining soon, but I hope this weather holds through next week. You know, midterms. Ugh, you had to go and bring that up. I don't want to think about it. <sighs> I wish I had Yukiko's gift for studying. Hey, Yosuke! Why don't you have Yukiko go over some of the material with you? Hmm? Oh, that's right. Yukiko's ranked at the top on every exam. Maybe I should ask her for some private lessons. Uh, private lessons? Huh? What's wrong? Ow! What was that for? I'm just asking you to help me study. Oh, I'm sorry. You were talking about studying. I thought it might have been an off-color joke. Arian has had some strange visitors lately. If you thought it was a joke, then just shrug it off. Sorry, my hand moved without thinking. Jeez. Thanks a lot, Chie, for bringing up the whole studying thing. W what did I do? Uh, you're the one who made it sound creepy and wrong. Private lessons, huh? What? Then it's mostly my fault? Oh, I should start heading home.
Welcome to the Velvet Room. Oh. 
Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the Velvet Room.
Welcome back. Hey.
Hey, Chie, I bought you a new copy of that Trial of the Dragon flick. It was the greatest punches version for 980 yen. If I knew then, I'd just replaced it instead of buying you grilled steak. This is clearly getting closer. Huh? What are you, scared of a little lightning? Quiet, you! I'd be a goner if even one of those things hit me. Ah! <laughs> You're freaking out way too much. Come on, shouldn't weather like this help with your kung fu training? A bolt of lightning would hit and it'd give you the inspiration for a new move. There was a scene like that in your DVD, wasn't there? You jerk! You don't even care how I feel! If lightning has to strike someone, let it be this guy! <gasps> huh? Is this a blackout? That's what you get for saying that stuff, Chie. Looks like I better hurry up and head to work. Depending on how produce sells today, I might get a little bonus in my pay for the week. This weather may keep customers away, but I gotta do my best if I'm gonna save up for a motorcycle. It's from my manager. Hello? Uh, Yosuke-kun? Um, uh, some of the power in the store is out after that lightning strike. C could you come in early today? All the refrigerated shelves have stopped running. It's looking like we'll have to close up the produce section early today. Wait, what? But my pay! Anyway, I need you here to help deal with this mess. I I'm counting on you! Goodbye! Wait! What are you looking at me for? Uh, why did this have to happen? Hey, Yukiko, can we just go home? Chie, do you know this story? A girl forgot her homework, so she snuck into school in the middle of the night, but she suddenly needed to use the bathroom. She ventured into the girl's room where all the lights were off. No one should have been there, but in the mirror... Hold it right there! What are you talking about?! It's a ghost story. I thought you liked them. Yeah, but why tell it now? Thanks. I'm glad you're here. <sighs> why don't you just have him escort you back home, Chie? Uh, are you making fun of me? Well, yeah, with how freaked out you are, can you blame me? Oh, the power's back! Come on, Yukiko, let's go home!
Ага. Seafoam, listen to my voice, my shouting, bellowing voice. Here I am, pouring my blood into my words, yelling at the very edge of the world. I am the little mermaid, unable to return. The little mermaid, faded to foam. said no.